to this edition of Feedstuff's Food Link. I'm Sarah Muirhead. I'm here today at Dave Wendell's farm in Baxter, Iowa. Dave keeps all his pigs indoors, and that's a good thing here in Iowa in the winter. It's pretty cold out here. It's about 12 degrees, nice stiff wind chill. Those pigs are inside. We're at 68 degrees. Let's go inside, visit with Dave, see how his pigs are doing, and see what he does to produce pork for our families. Hello, I'm David Wendell. This is my granddaughter Peyton, my granddaughter Landry. I've been farming since 1982. We put this building up here that we're in right now and uh, finished it in <laughs> September of 2002. It's uh, an option we chose to do it this way. Uh, doesn't make it any better than being outside, but it's able to utilize labor force to the utmost. The buildings are tunnel ventilated with a cool cell in the summertime, and so it's similar to an air conditioner. This is a cool cell. It's an evaporative cooler. It's like a cardboard radiator. Water percolates down through it, we pull air through it. And as the water evaporates off the air, it gives, it gives the, cools the air. With some 40 pigs in this barn on a continuous basis, a routine is important. Well, we, we're on it. We wean two consecutive Wednesdays every month. We, turn on, we run, run on a 28-day schedule. And so every 28 days, we uh, wean a set of sows. We wean on Wednesdays, start washing, finish washing on Thursdays, and then on Friday after the wean, we put another set of sows in. You can just have better control over your environment and your disease, which we have, we're a, we're a very low disease herd to begin with. But if you partial wean a room and then you wash part of a room, then the other half of the room is getting damp while you're trying to wash. And so it's just better health for the pigs to go all in, all out. The pens in which the sows are housed are designed specifically for their comfort and their safety. See how the bars are in there like that? Uh -huh. That enables them to have to lay straight down. Okay. And uh, that way as they turn over, then that bar pops up to give them more room within the crate. This type of system also offers protection for the baby pigs. You'd have a higher percentage of crushing, you know, of being laid on. Comfort in the barn means finding the right balance between what's good for the sow and good for the pigs. So if you keep your room temperature too high for the sows, uh, it'll cut down on their feed intake. And so we try to, we start the room temperature out at 72. And as we go along through the lactation period on the sows, we'll take it down to 68. And that is kind of an ideal temperature range for the sows. But the pigs, they need about 95 degrees. And that's what the, the supplemental heat for the pigs are. And we use these heaters because this way we can, we can uh, supplemental heat two litters at once with the same amount of energy. This is our gestation barn. This is where the sows are housed uh, all the time until it comes time for farrowing. Uh, we feed in here once a day. Uh, usually come out about six o'clock in the morning to feed. And after they're done eating, we'll go through and clean the head alleyway and then run water in the troughs for them. They, they water in the same trough they eat in. We'll run water for them three times a day. We don't have uh, waters on floats or timers. We run so many gallons in the morning, so much at noon, and then so much at night. Sow performance, which is a measure of sow health and sow comfort, is monitored regularly. We go through and condition, condition score sows, try to do it once a month. And uh, that way we can change their, their intake. One's getting a little too heavy, we'll cut her back, and if one's getting a little, little thin, we'll give her more. It's uh, very comfortable in here today. Should be it's somewhere between 67 and 68 in here. This building here is also got as a cool cell, and then the curtains will come up, it goes into tunnel ventilation, it pulls the air across the building. When all the tunnel fans are running, there's a little over a five mile an hour breeze through here. I've never seen a time that we've had uncomfortable sows in here. Dave believes that an indoor operation like he has provides for the best conditions for humans that work in the operation for the sows and for their pigs. To individually manage each sow, the environment's controlled. If you're late doing something, you come in here, work, it's daylight, or it's light, uh, you're not having to tromp around in the mud. As I get older, that's important to me. It's a safety thing for everybody involved, even for the pigs, you know. I can't imagine having all these sows outside as bad as winter as we've had. All the bedding it'd take. Although we've had to buy a lot of LP, so you'd, 
straight off LP or bedding, whichever way you'd want it. But still, you're just so much better able to control the environment of the sow and increase her the sow's productivity.